Hello chess lovers, welcome to the second game of the series. Um, this time we played against Ahmed Usta, 1573, and uh, we were black. So let's dive right in. Uh, opponent opened with e4, and we go for Pirts as planned. After bishop c4, Knight f6, slightly strange moves, and knight c3, e5. So, uh, we are going for Philidor defense via Pierce. And here, a mysterious move, <coughs> a3, probably not bad, but a little bit mysterious. Uh, bishop e7, knight f3, castles, and this is the move that I don't like, uh, bishop b3, because... If there is a squirrel available here, it might be better to go all the way back. And that avoids some attacks by knights in the future. Uh, most probably, the opponent wanted to avoid tactics on these two squares. For example, castles, there is a typical uh, trick uh, like this. But... Here I'm even losing a pawn, I think, but because of the active play and uh, bishop pair, it should be enough. But this is not so bad for white, I think. Okay, he, he tucked his bishop back, but maybe it was better to go all the way uh, back. And now I went knight c6, eyeing this square with uh, these ideas. Um, white can prevent it, but... He did not. So it was his choice. And here, after bishop g4, of course, with bishop e3, he will not allow uh, me to do that. I mean, I will do it, but it's going to be slightly different than in the game. For example, in the game he played h3, and after captures, captures, now I just take this bishop. But he could have given this bishop uh, on this square for this knight. Uh, okay. Uh, so, knight d4, queen d1, knight b3, c b3. And uh, here, I wasted time. Yeah, I, I wasted a lot of moves. I developed, uh, developed the bishop, then I took. I went with the knight here, here, here. But, okay, uh, white wasted some time too. But why, wh wh what was the reason to waste so much time? Uh, in my mind's eyes, it's just that now... Um, White's structure is not the best. It's uh, nothing terminal, but it's something to play against. And I played d5, and here he made an inaccuracy uh, according to the engine, but I didn't see. I didn't see why this is bad. Uh, so I played c6, but actually there was a tactic here. Very nice tactic. I, I wasn't really aware at all of it. Uh, so knight e4. And for example, one forcing line, uh, bishop e7, uh, knight takes, bishop takes, knight takes, bishop takes, knight here. And white cannot capture e5 because of this check, losing a piece. And if white tries to capture this knight with king e2, uh, controlling d3 square, because all the squares are actually taken, we have e4. We have e4. Uh, saving the knight. So that was knight e4, and, uh, which I, as I said, didn't see at all. Uh, also, he can take the knight, but then after bishop takes, if he takes with a pawn, black has this move, controlling the square and making this knight really uh, not a great piece. And this is a good example of good bishop versus bad knight in open position. If he takes with a knight, which looks nice, that's a nice square, but we have this pawn. So after c6, the knight has to go to some unfortunate square and then there is no future for it. Uh, of course, uh, this is a nice square, but he cannot get there. Uh, why? Because we just take it. We just snip it. If he takes back after queen h4, this is terrible for white. And if he includes uh, capture on d8, black has a nice choice. So this way, 
is the first one to win a pawn and maybe even better is just to take uh, to take that queen and uh, then look at these pawns look at all of them they're all weak they're all weak and uh, black has no weaknesses uh, this one can be technically be a weakness but how will you get there and after rook d3 everything is hanging here here and that means that here and here and here oops sorry here are also hanging so that would be a really bad position but okay i didn't see 94 i didn't even consider it so i played c6 and opponent took on f6 and now he castled so what is this so we have all the pawns both of us and as i said before his structure is a little bit compromised but for now i cannot do anything about it but maybe in the future you know i can slowly um, put my pieces on the right squares and maybe go something like this and advance but it will take time it will take a lot of time unless he takes some active measures which he did so queen d7 preparing to support here when he attacks which he did and now rook fd8 uh, defending that pawn and now white took these active measures i'm not really sure was this a good decision i don't know because now these pawns are mobile they cannot move yet but they they got some potential after this exchange and now he played here and i thought maybe he wants this so I put the rook on a C file, so if he does that, temporary sacrifice, with the idea of establishing a good knight here, because my rook is here, I have rook C2. So that was rook C8 all about, to prevent that. So if he wants to get this beautiful knight, it will cost him a pawn. He has some compensation, because that's really a beautiful knight. But this is also a good bishop, so I don't know. He didn't do it. So after rook c8, he played b4, controlling here for future. And I played a move that computer doesn't like. And now I don't like it either, because I understand why. But when I made it, I knew that I made two weaknesses. But I thought this pawn is coming here, so that's going to be covered. But what I haven't realized is that I cannot do that. Uh, just watch and see. After knight e4, attacking my bishop, I move. Uh, I have a threat to come down, so he has to spend time here. But now he wants to go here, which would be favorable for him. So so I, I went b6 to control that square. And this is the moment. I, I haven't even seen that he can go g4. And then I don't have f5. That means that his knight stays there. He can even... Uh, he can even do something like this and uh, relocate his pieces and it's not easy to break that but i had i mean not i had i didn't foresee this uh, foresee this but i i would have tried to slowly organize pushing uh, my pawns i don't know where to put the rooks i'm not sure is it possible maybe not i don't know but that was what i would have tried had it happened but this was definitely a good move, g4. He didn't play it. He played queen g3, attacking here, but that just allows f5, because now he has to move the knight. Knight went back, and I put the queen here. Computer doesn't like it, but I like it. It's a good square for the queen, and that queen protects the king on this diagonal, because when I push this, and this opens, I don't want to allow any kind of checks from here maybe it's nothing but maybe sometimes it works so so i just put the queen there i just put the queen there to control everything and here he made a losing move actually then the, the next move was really terrible so, so what he did is pushed f4 and that's not good that's not good because this pawn is needed to control this pawn but when you push it and when, when i pass forward and uh, ignore it now that's a passed pawn and soon it will be a pass protected pass pawn so that's just terrible uh, he went here and now of course i, I cannot take 
first I don't want to take, uh, but even if this bishop wasn't hanging, I wouldn't take, but that's the reason why I cannot really take. But after I push, this is a monster pawn. It's defended, it's passed, it's on the sixth rank. It's just like some bone in a throat of white. So that's just not good. Uh, yeah, this bishop is his only upside because it doesn't have... Ever since I put my pawn on d4, this bishop doesn't have much scope. But eventually, space will open up. So that's not a problem. A knight f3, bishop f6, I wanted to control uh, this square just not to let him plant an knight there. And now he start, started taking desperate measures. I guess he thought that because of these pawns, he has no chances in the center and on the queen side, so he wanted to attack. But can he really attack through this pawn? And with my pieces so centralized? I don't really think so. So I was... Usually when people attack you, you feel some worry. You know, you think... Maybe he will create some chances, but here I actually welcomed this attack because I have this bishop that protects my king and it's this guy that needs to worry. Uh, let's see. So after fg4, hg4, I play g6, making some luft so that if he pushes I can go there. Although it was not necessary because I could have gone here. Actually, that's even recommended by the engine, but this was just my logic. So he shuffled a little bit. And I prepared uh, to attack this pawn and to attack this king eventually. And now, according to the computer, this is a blunder, but it doesn't matter because even if he doesn't blunder, it's still losing. So it's not a blunder, it's just losing quicker. But okay, uh, rook takes, I exchanged, he exchanged, and bishop g7. Of course, computer wants this kind of business, but I like my bishop here, protecting my king attacking here provoking him now what are you going to do are you going to push don't think so i'm ready yeah and uh, if you move the knight then there are no active prospects for this knight so and you can never really exchange everything because then this pawn just decides so he played knight h2 but now that's just a bad knight and i played h5 to start opening lines and after queen e2 protecting here now i took the c file uh, again computer doesn't like it but i don't know why i mean i i know why he wants some forcing stuff with bishop h6 but that, that doesn't matter you just take this open file now when there is only one rook on the board and white can never challenge it so that means that with uh, this diagonal being under control with this pawn that's just crashing. <laughs> there is not even counterplay. So after g takes, g takes, he played rook f3. Again, not great, but what to do? I went uh, to the back rank. Again, computer will tell you that this is inaccuracy because instead of minus 5, now it's minus 4. But that just doesn't matter. So he should have defended now, not uh, went up with the king, but still, after king g2, this is the move that I like. I play the move that I'm proud of. It's nothing special, but queen c6, uh, maintaining the pin on the diagonal, and also controlling this square, threatening rook c2. And the line that I was calculating during the game was b5, queen c2, takes, takes, here, and now you can choose. You can either pick up the pawn and promote later or you can be more forcing with this kind of business and as you can see rook cannot go here because that's protected and rook cannot go here because that's protected either and on the next move we will make a queen okay he didn't play b5 he went up because there was a threat here uh, after rook c2, it's just dead lost, but if he maintained contact uh, with his rook, I would have to figure out how to finish. But after queen e1, I had uh, plenty of time on the clock, so I was trying to find some, I don't know, convincing ways to win. 
even though I saw immediately one way, but I thought maybe there is something better, but I couldn't find. So I just went for the simple one. As you can see, uh, the knight is defending the rook, and we can just do basic removal of defender. And now we are up a piece and still having a dominant position. So b3, uh, queen f4, queen g3. And funny, I wanted to play a bishop here. And I was trying, but the computer wouldn't let me. And I was like, why? And only then I realized that uh, my bishop was pinned. So that was a little bit silly of me. And also, um, maybe something to think about. So maybe my form is not the best, since I don't see that I was just pinned. I was trying to make an illegal move, but it was not possible. So then, realizing that that move is illegal, I just exchanged. and. Here we have a, a little bit funny ending uh, because, of course, it is lost, but my opponent didn't uh, want to resign. And I thought, let's try to checkmate without promoting. Not if he would have forced me to promote, I would, but I, I saw one interesting possibility and he allowed it intentionally or accidentally, I don't know. So I actually checkmated without um, promoting. Okay. So that was the game. Um, I know there was a lot of bragging here, but that's uh, how I liked that position. So I just honestly thought what I think. I um, The opening, not really greatest play. Um, then from me. Uh, and then middle game. Also I made some dubious uh, decisions because I failed to realize some nuances. But my opponent made some worse decisions. So the journey continues with another win. Thank you for watching and see you again. Bye.